Falcon 9 is throttling down in preparation power in preparation for max Q. Max Q, of, of course, being the moment in which the vehicle experiences the highest amount of aerodynamic vehicle pressure. Supersonic. Beautiful views of the California coast there in the background. Max Q. All right, there we heard the call out for Max Q. Everything looking good with stage one trajectory. Now in the next couple minutes, we have five events coming up in quick succession, starting with main engine cutoff, stage separation, stage one flip, second engine start one, and then the boost back burn. First stage engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. Stage one boost back startup. All right, there you saw all of those crystal clear, beautiful views. That first stage now is performing the boost back Carrying burn. Separation. Stage one boost back shutdown. All right, there we heard call out that the boost back burn has completed. Our first stage will be attempting a land landing in just a few moments. And there we heard the call out that fairing separation um, has been confirmed. Unfortunately, we're unable to broadcast that at the request of our customer, um, but we were able to confirm the deployment of that. We're now three minutes into launch, and the next milestones coming up include the conclusion of the boost back burn, which we see right there on your screen. One of the nice things about land landings is that we're not subject to ocean weather, um, and it's pretty convenient to land the first stage uh, basically right next to where it lifted off from. However, our ability to exit, execute a land landing uh, really is dependent upon the customer's needs. 
their mission trajectory and performance needed by the satellite is what determines if we can return to land. Most of the time, their requirements don't allow for a return to launch site, which is what we're performing today, um, which is why we also developed the capability to land our first stages. Both vehicles on nominal trajectory. Good news there, both first and second stage um, reporting to have nominal trajectory. Um, so that's why we developed our ability to land our first stages out in the ocean with our drone ships. Stage one, entry burn startup. There we can see that entry burn has begun and this will last for another few seconds. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. And we can see that entry burn has concluded. The vehicle continues to steer itself for a precise landing back at landing zone four at Vandenberg Space Force Base. The next burn we have is the landing burn. During the first stage landing burn, a single Merlin engine, the center engine, will relight and slow the vehicle stage one, down. FTS is saved. If you look closely, you should be able to not only see our landing zone, but our launch site as well. Stage Again, two FTS has saved. The landing zone is pretty close to our, our launch pad. Shortly before the vehicle touches down. Stage one landing burn startup. All right, we can see the landing burn has begun. Landing zone coming into view for the first stage. Again, this is the first flight for this booster and first landing attempt. Stage one, landing leg deploy. And as you can see, a picture perfect stage landing one. of this first stage booster. It's first flight and first landing. This booster will be prepared for reflight on another NRO mission later this year. And a special thanks to the range and the Federal Aviation Administration for licensing support. For all those tuning in, thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow for our Starlink launch.